This is an uh, introductory reading on Unit 2 on our oceans. Oceans cover 70% of the surface of the Earth, and in this Unit 2, you're going to be exploring the properties of seawater, how these properties set up currents that distribute heat around the globe, what the seafloor is actually like, how the atmosphere interacts with the oceans to create waves and currents, how the distribution of life occurs in the ocean and how the seas affect people and how people affect the seas. Water off. 
associate you with that. That is, deep waters are denser than surface water. This sets up a layer of pressures of the ocean surface. Next zone, zero to two hundred meters. Waters in this zone are warm and less dense, with low salinity two percent of the ocean water. Transition zone two hundred through one thousand meters. Um, So as we learned that ocean layers and currents influence the distribution of marine life, the layers of the ocean have different temperatures and salinities. They also have different oxygen and nutrient levels. The parameters of temperature, salinity, and available nutrients set boundaries on what types of marine life can live in an area at what depths. For example, along the coast of North Carolina, tropical fish live south of Cape Hatteras, where warm waters from the Gulf Stream hug the coast. At Cape Hatteras, the Gulf Stream turns out to sea, so along the northern side of the Cape, you find fish that require colder or more temperate climates. Only marine life that can tolerate cold temperatures can survive on the ocean floor. The physical and chemical properties of seawater determine the structure and dynamics of the oceans. As we've learned on the even heating of the Earth's surface, the differential heating causes differences in the temperature in the surface waters of the ocean. Recall that temperature varies with latitude and with depth. The salinity of the oceans also varies geographically and with depth. Temperature and salinity interact and influence the densities of seawater. Changes in density set up a layered structure of the ocean and contribute to deep ocean currents. Changes in temperature at the ocean's surface and in the atmosphere also cause surface currents. These currents circulate heat energy and nutrients, which influence the Earth's temperature and the distribution of all marine life. We hope you've enjoyed this reading of Unit 2.01, Oceans of the World. Good luck with your studies.